welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to construct a basic long-term latrine, so stick around. Personal hygiene is a must if you spend any time in the field. It's also a morale booster. If you feel good physically, you should feel good psychologically. There's one thing I can't stand more than anything, and that's dropping a deuce in the field. I'm talking about solid waste. So today, what I want to do is build a group or long-term latrine, which will help you smooth it when dropping a deuce. For today's exercise, an axe or a saw will do, number 36 bank line, and a knife. If you're alone or on the move, a simple cat hole will do. All you got to do is dig a hole approximately one foot by one foot by one foot, do your business, bury it, and move on. Now what if you're in a group setting or you plan on being in a certain location for a number of days or weeks? This is where a trench comes into play. Now keep in mind when digging your trench, it's all about location, location, location. You want to be as far from your camp within reason as possible. You don't want the flies or the smell. Now, what I do is locate two trees between four and six feet apart, then go ahead and dig your trench. Digging the trench is very simple. About one foot wide, minimum one foot deep. Span from tree to tree. Just about got it. Ran into a root system here and right over there, but it's all good. Our trench is now complete and we can use it as is. However, like I mentioned earlier, I want to smooth it. So to do that, we need to build a seat. I'm looking for two poles and I want these poles to be roughly an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. And I want them to run approximately two feet past the span of my trees. Now that we have our poles, here's some free advice. Always delim your poles. There's nothing worse than getting poked in the bum cheek while dropping a deuce. And this is what we're going for right here. We take our poles and we lash them to our trees. We want one on each side. So to do that, I've already tied a square lash at that end over there and supported this end. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit and add one more square lash right here. What we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and start off with a clove hitch. There's our X pattern. We'll place our end underneath. We want to go ahead and pull it tight and dress this up I'm going to raise them up just like that now we want to go ahead and turn our clove hitch into a timber hitch And to do that, all we're going to do is take our end and wrap it around several times. Just like that. Clove hitch, timber hitch. 
Now we can tie our square lash. We've gone from a clove hitch to a timber hitch and now we're going to tie our square lash. I'm going to go ahead and remove my e-tool, drop my pole down to where it meets my timber hitch. Now this is pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to wrap around everything. So we're going to go over our pole. And then we're going to go around our tree. Just like that. Pull it tight. Now we're around our tree. We're going to come back to the front. And then we're going to go over our pole again. Just like that. So now we're over and went underneath. Now we're going to go back around our tree. And you want to do this three times. Everything you can think of that's going to get caught on this, it will. And then I'll pull it tight. Now I'm starting my second wrap. That's what I'm talking about. Now we have two on each side. Gonna go ahead and go one more time. Pulling it tight. Now we're starting our third wrap. That makes three. I want to go around one more time and end right here. Okay, we're at the bottom right here. So what I want to do is something called a frap. I want to wrap between my pole and my tree. I want to do that three times also, pulling it tight every time. And there's one, which you can do is grab a stick that's not rotted, like this one right here. You can go ahead and wrap it around a few times and use it for a toggle. So every time you complete one frap, pull it tight, and this will lock your pole to your tree.
there's two. Now here's three. Three wraps, three fraps. Grab a toggle one more time. It's pretty tight. Now we start with a clove hitch on the bottom. We can end with a clove hitch on top here, but the tree diameter is a lot larger. So I'm gonna go ahead and end with a clove hitch right here. We have our standard X pattern right here. We have a lot of excess, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and we'll finish our clove hitch. Pull it tight. And what you can do to prevent slippage is tie an overhand knot right here. From this point right here, it can evolve into whatever you want. You can place a tarp over top of this for inclement weather. You can use a tarp on the outsides for privacy screens. Or my personal favorite, the grab bar. For those days when you got to grab onto something, bite your lip, lean back, and give it hell. Welcome back. That was outstanding. Once again, as usual, we're smoothing it, even when we're dropping a deuce. Thanks for the comments, views, support. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.